Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. I asked on my community tab which video you would be interested in seeing today, and the majority of you voted for handbag updates, so that's what I got going on for you. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up, and without further ado, let's get started, shall we? As always, I will be putting timestamps down below. I will actually pin it as the first comment. That way you can go to whichever item you are interested in hearing about. Okay, so for today, I have three handbags and an SLG. Let's begin with handbags, and the first one is the Louis Vuitton No ABB in the monogram canvas. So I've had this bag for a little over two and a half months and oh my goodness, I am obsessed absolutely obsessed. I think that this is such a fantastic handbag. And the funny thing is, is that I have the Petite Noé, which I love, and I have the Nano Noé, which I think is great. But this to me is the Goldilocks of Noé's when it comes to this style of handbag, at least for my lifestyle. I think that it is perfect. I can't get enough of it. This is a type of bag that I constantly end up using over and over and over again. And you guys know that that's kind of rare for me to do, especially because I tend to swap out of my bags daily. So I probably have like a top 10 that I that I constantly end up using, you know, for two or three or four days. And then even after I put them away, I wanna go right back into them. So this kind of falls into that category, which is really odd considering that I've only had it for two and a half months. But I have a sneaking suspicion that this is gonna be one of my most most used handbags this year. I could be wrong, but uh, it'll be interesting to see if that ends up happening. But let me give you guys a little, a little info on it. So uh, this handbag does come with a removable adjustable strap that you can use for crossbody or as a longer shoulder strap. Uh, I think I've used this maybe once or twice. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. Just because I feel like when I use it on my shoulder, I kind of have to do this. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I feel like like a crow. Like I'm just kind of like, ah. <laughs> I don't know. But I feel really weird when I use this bag on my shoulder and I really don't like the way that it looks on me crossbody, uh, which, you know, it's fine, but I like the fact that it does come with the option for it. So I think that this handbag has such incredible versatility because you can really make it your own. You can really play around with it and you can use it in so many different ways and in so many different aspects of your life. Now for me personally, uh, I really like it with this um this uh, handle strap. This I got separately. This was actually from Organize My Bag. I had purchased two others, one from Etsy and another one from uh, Amazon, and both of those didn't work out. Uh, this one has way better craftsmanship, and I love that the hardware matches the Louis Vuitton hardware as well, but I really like to use it this way. I love using it on the crook of my arm as a hand carry bag, uh, and even if I have this handbag fully loaded, it's not uncomfortable. It doesn't feel like it's heavy. I really think it's because of the giant base that it has. It kind of um, distributes the weight a little bit, uh, a little bit better to where, I mean, it doesn't feel like, oh my gosh, this bag is so heavy. Not at all. Even if I have it like this all day long, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. So I am a huge fan of the way that this looks. I love the little bucket style that it has. And um, I, I just think it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Now I opted not to get the little uh, leather slide that some people get aftermarket. Uh, I just have it set on, I have it on a setting and I have a little bow on it. And to me, this works out perfectly just because I can get in and out of the bag without having to mess with the drawstring whatsoever. I can still see everything at a glance, uh, but if you want that added peace of mind, if you want that added security, then I definitely recommend going for that little slider or just maybe, you know, kind of going back and forth with the drawstring. But to me, it doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, now, one other thing I chose not to go for, um, for a organizer with this. Personally, I don't think that it needs it just because the bag itself has quite a bit of structure, even though it has that little bit of a slouch. So I don't think that it needs it. I don't find that I struggle to get in and out of the bag or to find that item if I'm at the checkout. Because again, I can see everything at a glance with the adjustment that I have it on. So uh, I love it the way that it is. But um, <laughs> I mean, I love this handbag so much so much that it is taking everything in me not to add the Noe BB in the Damia Azor. 
Uh, you guys know how I feel about Demi Azor, but I just, I think it is such a great silhouette. It is such old school Louis Vuitton, and it really gives off that, um, you know, it really gives off the, those vibes that I am absolutely here for. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I mean, this bag has been around for forever, right? Uh, the regular Noé, the OG Noé has such great history. Uh, but I like that they, I love that Louis Vuitton has made so many different variations over the years. Uh, but for me personally, out of all of them, I think this one definitely takes the cake. I think it is beautiful. I love that they added the shiny gold hardware. I think that it gives the bag a little bit more oomph. You know how I feel about the oomph when it comes to that shiny gold hardware. Now, one thing that I wanted to talk about very quickly is the leather, because as you guys can see, it has quite a bit of leather. And I know that that's a turnoff for a lot of people just because they don't want to deal with water stains. They don't want to deal with any type of, you know, like scratches or any type of stains on it. Uh, now, I don't use any sprays. I don't use any conditioners on my bags. Um, I just let it do its thing and plus the oils in my hands do all the work for me. Now one thing that I did when I first got it, I set it out for I think it was like three or four days and I've talked about this on my channel before. Uh, whenever you get a brand new Louis Vuitton bag with this type of leather, uh, I was told by a sales associate a hundred million years ago, she told me to set it out for a couple of days, not in the sun, just in the room by itself. And doing that, it'll start to acquire like a base patina, which will in turn set you on the road for that honey golden patina, which I personally love. It's worked out perfectly. I personally think that it has a beautiful baby patina, but I cannot wait till it gets that honey golden color. I don't think that this handbag has a crazy price point. Uh, uh, yes, it's mostly canvas, uh, even though it does have quite a bit of leather, but more than anything, I love the versatility. You can really have fun with it and you can really, you know, just whatever you want to do. If you want to use this for running errands, if you want to use this as a travel bag, um, just whatever the case may be, I think that this is one of those handbags that can fall into so many different lifestyles and can fall into so many different uh, atmospheres or, or uh, categories that it absolutely works. Next bag is the Chanel Rectangular Mini. This is in the black lambskin with the champagne gold hardware. So I've had this handbag for a little over eight and a half years. Eight and a half years and it is still going strong. So out of all of the rectangular minis that I have, if you were to add up which one I have used the most over the years, it's this guy right here. Now, I, you know, for the longest time, I was always all about Chanel's uh, caviar leather. And don't get me wrong, I still love Chanel's caviar leather. It is absolutely beautiful, number one. Number two, it is insanely durable. But I have to admit that there is something about Chanel's lambskin that I think is just... It just exudes beauty. I feel like it makes the items, whether it's a handbag or a small leather good, I feel like it makes the items just sing a little bit louder. Maybe that's just me, but that's absolutely how I feel. This lambskin is so insanely soft. It's like butter, baby. You, you guys know how I feel about this type of lambskin. It is so, so soft. But over the years, uh, as I said before, this is one that I constantly end up gravitating towards. I love, uh, I love the silhouette. It works out for my lifestyle. And even though this is a mini bag, it fits quite a bit. It's very deceiving because on the outside you might think, okay, what are you going to fit in there? Maybe a couple of small leather goods, maybe a lipstick, and that's pretty much it. That's definitely not the case. You can get away with carrying an obscene amount of SLGs in here, uh, which I think is wonderful. So this to me is a handbag that I have used in so many different aspects. I've used it to run errands. I've used it, uh, you know, for date night. I've used it for, uh, I've used it for sometimes for or, uh, for a wedding. And I just really like that this is such a timeless look. This goes with everything and anything in my wardrobe. I do not feel that I have to dress to the nines when I use this bag because I will oftentimes rock it with my sneakers because yeah, that's just that's just what I do. Now with this handbag, I mostly end up using it as a crossbody bag. You guys know I don't really end up doing that, but for me, I really like where it lands on my torso. I am five foot five, so it fits right at my hip. It's perfect, uh, and it's very very comfortable. It's not uh, it's not heavy by any means whatsoever. Uh, I have personally not had any issues with scratches. That's the one thing that I feel that deters people from wanting to add lambskin just because it's not as, 
I mean, it's not as delicate as I once thought or as I once said back then. Uh, it's not as delicate. Yes, you have to be a little bit more mindful and yes, you will get scratches on it. But for the most part, uh, whenever I have gotten those scratches, I end up kind of buffing it out with my fingertips and I have had no issues. As you guys can see, there are no gnarly scratches on here. I do not baby this bag. Sometimes I end up fitting more than I should and it feels like it's gonna pop just because like this flap. I mean, I feel like the handbag at times will be like, Minnie, you need to relax. Like <laughs> give it a chance, you know, just because I end up fitting so much in here. But even with that said, it hasn't really gotten wonky or anything like that. So, I mean, it's it's held up very, very nicely. And again, that that uh, lambskin is not as delicate as, um, you know, as I once thought. So you just kind of buff them out. I know some people also use like a leather conditioner to buff them out, um, but I've never done that. And so far, so far, so good. I think it has aged beautifully for as long as I've had it and for as often as I use it as well. I actually have way more scratches on the interior just from getting in and out of it, as well as the lining. And I still have the sticker on the little uh, on the little zipper pull there. But uh, I love this bag, and yeah, I think it's great. The hardware has also held up insanely well. I barely have some teeny tiny hairline scratches on it, which I think is great. Uh, as far as the strap goes, I haven't had any issues with any types of kinks on it either. Uh, I don't have any. Um, I don't have any kind of drying on the leather or anything along those lines. It has really held up. Hang on, let me do this so you guys can see it a little bit better. It has held up very nicely over the years. So no issues and no issues with any type of uh, chipping hardware either. Um, all of the hardware uh, really looks like the day that I got the bag. Uh, so I am very, very happy about that. All right, so do I recommend the Rectangular Mini? Absolutely, I think it's a great bag. Uh, plus, they also hold their resale value insanely well. The biggest problem though, is that they are not readily available at the boutiques because they often sell them before they even hit the store or before they even hit the floor. So that's kind of a bummer. But uh, I, I highly recommend Chanel's lambskin. If you know, if you want to add a different texture to your, or a different type of leather to your collection, and you're unsure about how it might end up being, I highly, highly recommend uh, Chanel lambskin because again, it is not as delicate as as people make it out to be, or at least the way that I thought, or the way that I used to talk about it way back in the day. So I have eaten my words when it comes to that uh, when it comes to that leather. So that brings us to bag number three, and that is the Benedetta Bruzziches the Pina Crystal handbag, and this is in the color Dream Moose. If I'm not mistaken, please don't quote me on it. Uh, all right, so I've had this bag for about two months now. As many of you guys know, I did buy this for Christmas, and I did purchase it from the website. They were having a sale, and the sale uh, they put on there that some of the handbags will, will have imperfections, so that was to be expected. I have used this bag quite a bit over the last few weeks. You guys know me. I'm the type of person that when it comes to a crystal bag, I don't need a special occasion, okay? I don't need a holiday. No, I will bust this bag out and I will rock it to the post office, to Target, to go to the grocery store. It doesn't even matter what the hell I'm wearing because I just want to use the bag because it is so insanely shiny. So that's exactly what I do with this bag. Um, what I will say about this brand is that they do crystal bags. They do the crystals on their handbags because I have another aspect that I want to talk about it a little bit later on. Uh, the crystals on their handbags, I should say, are out of this world. The prism that these crystals have is insane. And I know I'm not doing it justice with this crappy lighting, but outside, it's like, I mean, you can see this bag from a mile away and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I'm just like mesmerized every time that I use it. I especially love to see this bag under like, uh, and I say this often, I probably sound like a lunatic, but uh, at the grocery store, the uh, the produce section has like the best lighting. I don't know why, compared to the rest of the store, right? But anyways, uh, when I'm in the produce section, I just find myself staring at this bag because it is so insanely shiny. Like, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing because I can only imagine what people are saying, like, dude, what is this chick doing? 
but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because again, I am here for the crystals, but the crystals are beautiful. I really do like this style because they do have a couple other um, bags. Uh, I have the Viti La Mignon and that has the flap. The flap is great because it gives you more crystals, but I really like the Pina because it does have the exposed zipper. So for me, this makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the bag. I have no issues with that. I also like the slouch that it has. The strap length is adjustable because all you have to do is take a little seam ripper to it. Uh, I know that might sound a little bit scary, but you can take a seam rip, uh, ripper to it and you can move the buckle around so that way if you want a longer strap drop or a handle drop, you have that option. Or if you want something a lot shorter, you can do that as well. So I really do like that. And um, this one, let me show you guys the imperfections that it has because it has missing crystals here. It has um, some, let me show you the ugly. It has some glue marks right there. It also has some missing crystals here. Uh, and from afar, you can't tell, but up close, I mean, I feel like they kind of stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, one other thing that I have to say about this very quickly before I get into the bad part um, is that because they use crystal mesh uh, for, the, or because they use, uh, yeah, crystal mesh for their handbags, you don't have to worry that the crystals are going to snag on your clothing, which I think is great because usually when it comes to crystal handbags, many of them do have prongs to house those crystals, which is great because it ensures that the crystal is secure and it's not going to fall off. At the same time, those prongs can be pretty deadly because they end up snagging on your clothing, especially like sweaters and stuff like that. So those aren't the, the prongs aren't the best when it comes to clothing or if you have it on your shoulder. Uh, but I do like that they use crystal mesh because you don't have to worry that this is gonna snag on any type of clothing. I have used it with every type of material in my wardrobe and everything has been okay. When I take it off, it's not like it's clawing at my, at my tops or at my sweaters. So that makes me very, very happy. And I just had to pass along that information. Now, for the bad. Do I recommend this brand? Uh, I do and I don't. I do because, as I've said before, the crystals, the quality of crystals that they use for their handbags is absolutely fantastic. So the quality of the crystals that they use on top of some of the other materials that they use for their handbags really adds to the price point that they have for their, uh, for their items. Uh, the reason why I don't recommend them is because even though this was purchased uh, on sale, I do have two other pieces that I have purchased full price and I have just been underwhelmed with the overall craftsmanship or the execution of their items. That could just be my experience. Uh, you guys might have experienced something different. You might have you might have items from this brand that you have had no issues with, and I sincerely hope it stays that way. But unfortunately, that hasn't been the case for me. So in my eyes, when it comes to the retail price for their items, I don't think that it warrants the price point because of the the quality that you're getting or the quality of craftsmanship that you're getting. I think it falls short. I think it really misses the mark because for the type of prices that they have their items for, especially their, um, their more popular uh, silhouettes or their more popular styles, um, I would expect, and I'm not expecting perfection, but at the same time for the prices, I would ex expect to see a little bit more. I would expect to see a little bit more attention to detail. And I think that they kind of, for lack of a better word, I feel like they kind of fail at that. You know, even though I can appreciate so many aspects of it, when push comes to shove, I feel like there are a lot of other brands that do crystal bags for a lot less that have better quality as far as the uh, the overall look of the item. They might not have the best like top of the top crystals, uh, but I feel like I don't see snags. If this was full price, let's just pretend. If this was full price, this does not feel like a thousand plus handbag. It, does, it doesn't, it doesn't. It's a very cool looking bag, but I would not pay full price for this. On sale, absolutely sign me up, I'd get another one, but I would I would never ever pay full price for this bag, absolutely not. And that brings us to our last item, which is the SLG, and I am talking about the Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin Purse in the Damia Zor. Although I think that they changed the name to Zippy Padlock Coin Purse or Padlock Zippy Coin Purse, I don't know, one of those two things. I know it as the Zippy Coin Purse. All right, so I've had this for a little over a year, and it has been absolutely fantastic. You guys want to hear something funny? 
Once upon a time, I had four or five Zippy coin purses in my collection, but yours truly sold them all because I fell in love with the Chanel O-Zip coin purse. This is still one of my favorite SLGs, but yes, I fell in love with the, with the Chanel O-Zip coin purse and uh, I did bring it out so we have a little quick side by side. As you guys can see, the Zippy coin purse is a little bit taller. Uh, and you guys can see that the Chanel one is just a teeny tiny bit wider than the Zippy coin purse. And as far as the interior goes, let me just show you. So the Zippy coin purse, you have a little bit more organization because you have two credit card slots uh, on either side, two slip or one slip pocket on either side, an open compartment on either side. And then you also have this guy. Uh, but then the Chanel Ozip coin purse, you just have the three open compartments. Okay, so um, because I fell in love with this one, I really like the three different uh, compartments that I have. Uh, plus I feel like I can get away with carrying a few more cards than the, uh, than the Louis Vuitton one. However, however, I have used this thing quite a bit this past year uh, for a few different reasons. Number one, because it's Demi Azor. You guys know how I feel about Demi Azor. It's also paired with this beautiful rose ballerine pink that I think makes for a stunning, stunning combination. Um, and I've also used it quite a bit because I really like the organization that it has. The one thing that I wasn't too fond of back in the day, now I appreciate it even more. It just goes to show that sometimes your tastes change. Sometimes you can go back to something that you loved or you can love it as much as something that you currently have kind of like this guy. But anywho, I digress. Uh, but yeah, it's been great. I have been able to double up my cards in here. No problem. Sometimes I have put three cards in each. And as you guys can see, I haven't stretched out the leather. Uh, the only thing that does look a little bit stretched out is this guy, only because I end up putting my cash in here, which makes no sense because I really should put it on either one of the, I should put it in either one of these compartments because I have more space, but no, I don't think like that. I'm, I'm thinking, let's stretch out that leather. Why not? So that's exactly what I end up doing. I have to be better at that. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's been wearing fabulously. I haven't had any issues with color transfer on the Damia Azor. Uh, the hardware has been wearing fabulously. I do have some teeny tiny hairline scratches, but look at this zipper. Sometimes I will take this out when I'm at the checkout and I'll just do this, kind of like the larger zippy wallet that I have. I'll just do this. I love that sound. It's so annoying, but I really, I like doing it. <laughs> I love how smooth it is. There is just something about a smooth zipper that I think that we can all just appreciate, right? Uh, maybe it's because I've had so many issues with some zippers that just kind of get caught that it's, it's a nice, it's a breath of fresh air when you have a zipper that moves the way that it's supposed to, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, it's been wearing great. Uh, although I do have a, uh, I have some varnish that has kind of peeled off and I also have not, maybe it kind of looks like a pop stitch, uh, but it looks a little bit more like pilling on the corner here. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, probably not. But overall, I think it has worn um, very, very nicely. I like that it's a little bit more slender, so that way if I do want to use it in my smaller handbags, it's not that you're necessarily gonna really maximize your space, but you still don't have to worry that it's too, too bulky. The only downside, as I mentioned previously, is that even though it does have quite a bit of organization in here, I don't feel that you can fit like the entire contents of a full size wallet the way that you could in something like this because I really think that those three compartments are a little bit more generous than, uh, than these credit card slots here. I don't know, but uh, either way, I think that it's wonderful. I lo absolutely love this combination. I think it is to die for. And um, yeah, so I have once again jumped back on the Zippy Coin Purse bandwagon and I think it's here to stay. That does it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. As I said in the beginning, I really hope that I'm able to give you a little bit more information on these items. That way, if you decide to add them to your collection, you have more uh, you have more details and that way you can decide if this is something that you want to go for or if this is something that you want to pass on. But uh, I love you guys to the moon and back. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.